What's up guys? Thank you for joining me in this video today and we are going to answer one question and that is is Jumpstart worth it? Uh, I think it is. Uh, I'll show you what I found out uh, in this video and then from one of my other games um, I'll just kind of tell you what I feel like is happening with this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, hide my camera so you can see what we're getting into. This is the Jumpstart screen. It's gonna cost us 400 gems or 2,000 gold. Now, I don't know that this is worth the gem expenditure every time, but it's probably worth a good, you know, a good one or two sessions with the gems. Being that you can't lose, uh, and what I mean by you can't lose is that uh, you just play until you win twice to get both of your rares. Uh, you also get the cards, you get to keep the cards that are in your packs. So, let's do it. There are a, a series of packs that you actually get to, to pick from, so we'll choose our packets. They've stated that there's 121 combinations, um, so you may want to, like, walls doesn't interest me all that much, uh, but, you know, maybe one of these times we should we'd probably just do walls. So, so you see how on Legion there's a check mark on the packet land? It means I've already done Legion once. So I'm going to leave that alone. We're going to do dinosaurs, because why not? Dinosaurs sound fun. And then we get our second uh, themed pack, so we could do dinosaurs and elves or dinosaurs and goblins. Um, I, I'm going to do funny stuff. We'll go dinosaurs and goblins, uh, just, just for funsies. And we'll end, uh, see what ends up happening. So we'll confirm that pick. Dinosaur goblins. That's our, our deck. We can actually look at it, I think. Yeah. So if we click on it, it will let us inspect the deck. And this is something I didn't know we could do. My first game this this is it it's a 40 card game we're just gonna we get a primal might which is neat one one shock in the deck okay oh i wonder if that's the you only get one of for each of the each of the cards you get and i'm pretty sure they're all the same so with dinosaurs we got a thrashing brontodon which is cool so if you need those you can pick them up um, sort of like rare drafting almost. Garuk's Uprising, we got one. Uh, I think you get a rare in each pack, so you get two rares. Uh, well, you don't see the goblin rare. There he is, Muxus the Goblin Grandee. And we've got two of the dinosaur rares, so Rampaging Brontodon and a Primal Might. I don't see a, another goblin rare, though. Volley Veteran Mando and some of the lands. So the, this is the the Jumpstart logo. And plus you get some M21 cards. So if you're trying to build your collection, this is a pretty good way to do it also, just based on uh, the cards that you get from each of the from each of the pack the, the packs that you get. So if you do the math, two thousand gold is worth two packs of like, you know, card packs if we were to buy them. Which is two rares, four uncommons. You get that about just by opening the packs. Plus, you get the two rares for winning the games. Now, there is no loss count, so it works out in our favor. Um, I'm going to free mulligan. I don't have any early plays. Uh, actually, I've got Discover the Mighty, which I don't, don't mind so much. Oh, let's take a mulligan anyways. It's free. Why not? So, all right. Gotta commune with. Dinosaur or land, so we can grab a thrashing brontodon. It'll be revealed, but that's okay. Got enough land to pull it off, so I'll do a mountain. We'll play the makeshift munitions, which is just the enchantment that lives on forever. It's actually not bad. Uh, this is the same art that was in. I think this came out like originally in Ixalan, maybe. Our opponent's playing white and elves, so it's probably Legion and elves. This could be pretty, pretty good combination. Okay, so I like Garuk's Uprising, and the reason I played my Bronton on first was because Grooks Uprising doesn't doesn't do much good until 
I can get a creature with four or more or power. Either in my hand or on the battlefield. Um, the other reason I like this setup, the jumpstart as an event, is because it's a very level playing field. Uh, nice. So we're going to save Savage Stomp. Because uh, I want it to... Actually, maybe we'll kill the Sylvan Ranger. Sylvan Ranger isn't worth killing. That's not great. Okay, so he's gonna... Well, let's do this. Time this for the block. So he blocks. Activate the munitions. Back. Kill his Sylvan Ranger. And we're gonna sacrifice our Brontodon because we lost it anyways. Bit of land destruction. This might not be very bright, but let's see. So he loses a creature, uh, a land, and I just lost a creature. So that might have set him back enough. I don't know. We'll see. Oh boy. So he's got to cultivate anyways. Oh, he's playing the lands deck. Oh, okay. Ew, ew, ew. Uprising. And if we draw into a land, we can play. Muxus, the Goblin Grenadine, which will also let us draw a card. If we don't draw a land, then we can play whatever card we do draw. I think this is the highest casting cost. Well, okay, there's that. And I think these operate like Brawl decks. There's only one of each of these in, in the deck, so... Okay, there's my land for the Grenadier. Build, I'm going to attack. And I wonder if he gang blocks or just takes it. Looks like he's just... Ornra Goblin is a terrific blocker. For these 1-1s. One oh boy. Now we can't attack or block, so that's not ideal. He does exist just for the uh, the makeshift munitions at this point, though. Oh, that's not ideal. I really don't want to sacrifice him just to remove one of the dogs, so... Okay, looking back, it doesn't look like it was very smart to sacrifice my creature to remove one of his lands. Take it all. Let's see what we got going. Ooh. 
Speed of resistance. Pretty cool. He's probably got some interesting combat tricks, but... Four, six, eight, so I gotta block a dog too. Terrific. Me at one and him at twelve. That's not... Not wonderful. So, this is game is going to be a loss. Let's just play it out and see what happens. I mean, we already know what's going to happen. We're going to get overrun with these dogs. This is a terrific, a terrific find. We're toast. Cool. But we don't have to win. So we're not really worried about that. <clears throat> All right, so let's get into it with dinosaurs and goblins. Here we go. Could be kind of a funky combination of cards to play, but I think it might, uh, you know, it just depends on luck of the draw. The dinosaurs end up being kind of, kind of beefy, so if they don't have a combination of these jumpstart cards with a whole lot of removal, it plays into what we're trying to do. Like it. We're hanging on to this one. Play our land and choose red, so now it's a dual land. I don't love that those come into play tapped, but they might come in pretty handy for the multicolored decks. See what we got. A sigiled starfish. Taps to scry one. Benson attacking. I don't want to bounce my drover off anybody, at least not yet. outnumber the wishful merfolk. Then Primal Might the Brute. I know it's not swinging in for a kill, but that might be kind of a, a neat way to limit the board. This might be jumping the gun. But I don't like how he has those attackers. Can't block because of Menace, so it just goes right through. Could pump him up to an eight. for a long time. That's not great. It's uh, waiting for the scry from the starfish. Oh, like Target creature can't block this turn. Your turtle can't block this turn. Okay. And our opponent just says, I've had enough of these goblins and dinosaurs. And there we go. And just like that, we've won our first game. And we get the rare right away. So it's... 
Bam. You also get quest completion rewards for this event, and if you have a quest to do a specific thing, you will also achieve that quest as well. Um, so we've got uh, Momentous Fall, which is, this is all cards all new to me. Like I haven't even seen the set yet. It's an additional cost, sacrifice creature, draw cards equal to the sacrifice creature's power, then you gain life equal to its toughness. That that might play, you know, that's kind of cool. Um, we'll take the prize. And what I want to take a look at is my quest. I thought I had one for the day. Guess I've already done them. That's okay. Um, you can jump in and out of jumpstart if you want to take a break. Uh, say your wins aren't going as quickly as you want them to or whatever. But don't resign until you've got your second win. Be my advice. Got our shock and a volley veteran. We don't have a dinosaur. The hand, just to see how it plays out. So, I'd love it if we did. Green, we'll just go with uh, ghoul colors. That's kind of fun. Oh, if, if our drover sticks around, we've got a third turn volley veteran. I might have played that differently if I was paying paying better attention here. The Rook's Uprising would have let me draw a card just now, and, and I didn't do that. Block. I'm feeling like a shock here and just a, a nice attack. if you control a dinosaur. So, let's see. Okay. So he's gonna go really well with Volley Veteran. And then I'm going to Savage Stomp, so... So my Drover of the Mighty is gonna get a little bit bigger. Now he's gonna pay for it, so he's gonna tap himself. If it targets a dinosaur, I'm not even paying attention. Ah, so I take it back. We're targeting the dinosaur with it. There's that, so they just have seen enough and they call it a day because you don't have to win. So it works really well, it's quick, it's a fun way to do it. You get a couple of rare cards, plus you get to keep everything in the, the little packets that you end up opening. Which amounts to about two, uh, two rares or so, or three or four rares total. Um, and the rares you win will always be jumpstart rares. The rares that you get from your packets might be M21. Or casting three, four, flying bird soldier. It gets plus one, plus one. Other creature with a counter on it. That's not bad at all. It's kind of good. So it's a pretty good way to get your quest done. Also to complete uh, your collections. And you can use wild cards to craft some of these. Well, craft all of the jumpstart cards, except for the lands, my understanding. Um, but this is well worth your saved gold and saved gems that you might have. So that's it for me for this jumpstart. I will be doing this with all of my spare gold, I think, throughout the week. So um, thanks so much for watching. Do remember to subscribe, um, you know, like the video if you feel so inclined. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a good one.